Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Kat. I am the Nurse Flipper. If this is your first time here. Welcome. This video will be a what sold on eBay, and we also have a Mercari sale. So we sold $300 over on eBay, and we had one $35 Mercari sale. So let's take a look. <music> So I am going to start out with Mercari and I really thought this would sell faster. I got this at Goodwill for $9.99 and um, it did end up selling over on Mercari. It is a Tennessee wreath um, and it is handmade. It's really cute. So I thought it would sell faster but it didn't but it ended up selling for $35 and I paid $10. So about a $20 profit after fees so not too bad. And then up next are some vintage pantyhose. So you can see these were originally 99 cents. There are two packs of them. I did get these off of Donatella Bodolina's online like YouTube auction and a lot of vintage pantyhose. These two sold for $13.57 plus shipping. The buyer is $20.61 all in. And then up next is this FSU Bear. I already did actually seal it with the heat sealer, so it'll just go in a poly bag. And this one is about 14 inches. I paid under a dollar in a lot of FSU items. I sold it for $13 plus shipping. The buyer's $24.54 all in on the teddy bear. And then up next, I actually sold some tools. And I did charge shipping. These are really heavy. Um, these are Blackhawk sockets. So you can see there the Blackhawk. So always check tools. It says USA. A lot of the vintage ones made in the USA. I got these in a box lot. They were actually thrown in the bottom. I paid under a dollar into these. They sold for $10 plus shipping. Buyer is $19.87 all in. And this is actually going to France, which is pretty cool. This is one of the awesome plates that I got from the Beach Estate Auction. So this is um, Bauer Studios, Mount Pleasant, and it is signed. And I have about probably three to four dollars into this, and it sold for twenty-five dollars plus shipping. The buyer is thirty-five ninety all in, and. This is going GSP, so they also paid to eBay for additional international shipping. And then we sold another of the vintage shirts. This one is Panama Jack. It is a XL black with the toucan there, so really cool print. And it is in really great shape, if you see. So this one, I believe, is from the 80s. It um, is on the Panama Jack tag there, extra large. And it sold for $28.23, free shipping. Shipping will be about $5, so buyer is actually $30.49 all in after tax. Up next, I got this probably about a month ago. So I paid $4.99 for this at Goodwill. It's a really cool cookie jar. It is Pier 1. So there is the lid. And I just looked up Pier 1 cupcake cookie jar and found it. There is the bottom. So Pier 1 stuff seems to sell pretty good, except especially their glassware and like their ceramic stuff. I've sold some mugs some like ice cream cups and they did great up next this is a snooze a hero i did get this at my little local thrift store less than two weeks ago it is going international i am shipping this directly it is new in the box i paid nine dollars and 99 cents and it sold for 41.99 plus shipping buyer is 62.99 all in and then up next, I got this in a box lot of Health and Beauty. It is Old Spice 2-in-1. I thought Brad would like it, but he didn't want it. So I listed it, and it sold for $11.99, free shipping. So 
some health and beauty can do good and somebody got this on clearance but i think this is going to go over a pound so i'll probably have like seven bucks into shipping and make about three to four dollars on it but i figured rather than tossing it i would list it up next is another one of our button ups this one they did send me an offer of 25 dollars free ship but i actually had it on sale for 58 so i did counter them at 30 and they accepted so the button ups we have about eight dollars in it'll be five for shipping so we'll make about a 15 dollar profit on this ship and then these were in my ten dollar bag i got from a garage sale i paid 20 cents because the clothes were five for a dollar these are some levi's they're kind of a camo like a floral camo um they I think are size like three yeah they're size three so they're pretty small um took about two months so not too bad but they sold for ten dollars and ten cents plus shipping and i only have 20 cents and so about an eight dollar profit and i will take that up next this has been listed forever i actually got it in a free box from a yard sale it's diary of a foodie season two so it was free, it sold for $13.16, plus shipping, buyer is $16.98, all in. And then this was in one of my sports lots. Um, I used to get a lot of these, I haven't gotten any in a while. This is a FSU women's shirt. It is a size large with the bow on the back there. Um, and this one sold for $9 plus shipping. It is, they're $14.30 all in. I'm trying to see because I put read. I feel like maybe there's something wrong, but I don't see it. So then we have this lot of stamps. These we've been in the profit for a while as well. Um, I just lotted them up by different like genres. So this is a lot of nine Easter stamps and they sold for $10 plus shipping. The buyer is $18 and 40 cents all in. And then up last is this wicker basket. So we did sell another one. This is my second one. I have another one that's actually bigger that I got at the church sale for 50 cents that I need to list. This one sold for 25. The shipping was about 50 and that was through priority mail. I did tell the buyer I will check FedEx and if I can get it cheaper, I will send them a little bit of money back because they weren't happy paying $50. So I am now going to show you guys just a few things from my auction haul and first is I think this is a little um, either a salt dish or an ashtray but the cool thing is it glows so this is some uranium glass um, while I've got my light I'll show you a couple other pieces this is a creamer that I got and these were in lots so I just have about a dollar into them um, this is the sugar same thing you can see so pretty cool there um and then i have one other piece of uranium glass i've come across so far i've only went through two boxes because i did pick this stuff up fourth of july and then i had to um go to work yesterday so this piece is super cool it's got a ship it is a fan vase so it's pretty flat with the top but this is a beautiful piece it glows great so i did get that and then these are some awesome victorian cranberry glass hand painted um salt and pepper shakers it sucks because i am missing the lid to one but it happens and then just a few more things um i'm not sure what this is and i don't know that this glass actually goes in i did just clean this um using a method that i saw on youtube it was almost black so it cleaned up okay um so this is a caster it's roger smith which seems to be a decent brand and then um this was in one of my lots and it's actually going to pay for the whole lot and i didn't even see it so this is this really cool rocking horse and you want to look so there if you don't get blinded while looking there's a little swan there this is a swarfsky rocking horse ornament and they're selling for about 50 dollars um and 
that will more than pay for what I paid for my lot. I think I paid $25 for the whole box and um, the piece I just showed you as well as this one I will show you now was in there. So this could be possibly 500, maybe more. I might price high at a thousand and see if I get any offers. So this is an antique pickle jar. It's this really pretty blue glass with gold leaves. Um, and it is marked on the bottom. Let's see if I can get it for you guys. So this is Roger Smith as well. And you can see it was made in the USA. This one I'm not going to attempt to clean. It's just worth too much for me to mess with it. There should be a pair of tongs here. I am missing those. But I've seen quite a few of these that actually um, have sold for several hundred dollars and I don't see any like this listed currently so pretty cool there and then I think this little cow was like a hydromorphic or something um, I did when I found the listing I saved a copy I did find it by searching by photo on eBay and she sells for like 20 bucks too so the cool thing is most of these lots and all this stuff was just out of the first two boxes I only paid $20 per box and I found several pieces that once one of them sells the box will be paid for so I hope you guys had a great 4th of July weekend hey guys I am going to add a, another day of sales on today is Tuesday we will have our live show tonight so hopefully you guys enjoy that and we actually have been super slow on eBay but this morning proved to be pretty busy it picked up so we actually have $379 going out today on a Tuesday which is actually more than we sold over the whole holiday weekend is this really cool pewter wizard and princess statue so this one I actually got off of shop Goodwill um, I paid about five dollars for it and this one sold for $35.99 plus shipping. The buyer is $44.80 all in. So if you see this in yard sales, you want to search. There you can see this one is from, I think, $19.99 um, or $19.80. This is titled Stargazer so, or Stargazing, so you can look that up and find exact comps for these pieces that are named like that. And then up next, and I shared this over on Instagram. I'm not sure if I priced too low because it sold overnight. Um, this is a Corvette racing hat. It is autographed. I got this in a box lot in an estate sale. I only paid a dollar for it, and it sold for $29.99 free shipping. They didn't even make an offer, so I don't know if I priced too low or what. If you guys think I did, let me know. Sometimes it's hard when you don't have exact comps to know what to price at and you could price too high, you could price too low, um, but I'm happy with $30 from one. Up next is actually another pewter piece. So this is Reed and Barton. And again, it is titled, so you will see on there. Um, this is a pendant for a necklace or they could use it for a ornament. And I paid less than a dollar. This was in a lot. It sold for $10 plus shipping. The buyer is $14.96 all in. Up next is this Table Tops Unlimited Fine Bone China. This was actually a clearance purchase from Bed Bath & Beyond. I honestly would not get it again. Um, I did pay $2 for these each on clearance and then they sold for five each plus shipping. So the buyer actually bought four of these salad plates for me last week. And then after we had shipped, it said I meant to buy the dinner plates, not the salad plates. Will you sell me the dinner plates for $20 free shipping? And I told her no, because shipping is over $20. I would be losing money. So she received the, the salad plates in the mail today and asked if I would still accept five each plus shipping and she bought them so she is $42.55 all in she got the other plates said they arrived in great shape and she wanted to still buy the others so not too bad she could have returned them um luckily she didn't because it was her mistake but if she had I would have had to accept them and then up next, this is one of the vintage shirts. This one is a Hooked on Harry's. You might have seen the t-shirt that I sent to Harry Humstone. So this one is from the 90s. I put Hooked on Harry's saxophone bar. 
and this one sold for $15.06 free shipping. And then up next, this is the second one of these plates to sell. This is a really awesome pottery plate. It is marked Bowers, which is or Bowen, which is a good um, brand to look for. This is from Mount Pleasant Studios. It's a beautiful plate, as you see. The last one went international. This one sold for $24.06 plus shipping. I'm about $5 in. The buyer is $39.23, all in with the shipping on that one. So between the two of those, they more than paid for that whole lot. And I still have three of the plates like that left and other items as well. A uh, set of two pair of bras. It's really hard to see. These are anybody seamless. They were from my QVC lot. And I got those for just a couple of dollars and they sold for $14.57 free shipping. They'll be easy to ship, throw in a poly bag and be done. And then I have this Salt Life shirt, which is just a simple t-shirt. Um, I paid four and I got $16 free shipping. And I don't think it's too bad because it is a pretty common brand. This is not vintage. Um, so I'll still make about $8 on that. And then this next one, and then I saved the best for last. This is really big. I'm not sure how much you guys can see. I'll post the picture up. So this is a Munster High Dolls um, Twin XL Full or Queen because it measured 71 by 90. The tag doesn't say the size, so I measured it and looked up on the internet what are those sizes. So this one I got in a lot. I'm actually in the profit after selling a big Munster High Doll from that lot really quick after I got it. So this is all profit. It sold for $35.99. Plus shipping, buyers 54.06 in. So if you see comforters or bedspreads that are in good shape, especially like the characters like this um, while you're out, pick them up because they sell for pretty good money. That's so close to three months, but that's not too bad and they're easy to ship and they don't break. I'll just put it in a really big poly bag. And then let me show you guys the last thing. So this last item is my highest sale of this week and also um, the best profit and it's really awesome. This is another one that sold overnight and it makes me wonder if I priced too low. So I did accept an offer of $100. I got this, I just this past weekend picked up tons of glass. I think I showed you earlier in the video this exact piece. So I paid $32 for the lot. Um, this piece sold for a hundred plus I have tons more. This is a really pretty cranberry glass with enamel paint which is really awesome. So the paint's in great shape. And I was even missing the lid here for the pepper shaker. I did look to see if I could find one so I could um, maybe buy it and sell it complete, but I couldn't find it. So this is silver plate. I'll show you guys there. So check the markings if you find stuff like this. This is a quadruple plate. The quadruple plates seem to sell a lot better. I did clean one of my silver pieces, but this one I did not. Um, if they're valued more, I'm kind of scared to clean them too much. So probably about $5 and sold for $100 free shipping. Shipping will probably be about $10. So that's about an $80 profit on those. So keep an eye out. Any of these little like ones with the casters or carriers seem to do pretty well and they sell for good money. So that is it. I appreciate you guys watching. Hope you have a great week. I'll see you on the next one. Say bye everybody. Tell them bye. Give them a blow kiss. Give them a blow kiss. Give them a blow kiss. That's you. Give them a blow kiss. Bye. Give them a blow kiss. Oh, you're done? Okay.